Hello, currently I'm here with a bassoon that is not mine, as you may begin to see. And the thing is, in a few days I'm playing a concert that is requiring a trill that I have normally played on my bassoon with extra keyword. And now I have a bassoon that doesn't have those keys, actually some keys here that I'm normally using for this trill. So right now I need to find some new fingerings. The notes uh, I'm working on is a trill from A flat to B flat in the tenor register. A famous piece that has this trill is, for example, Stravinsky's um, Octet. However, I'm actually going to play it in uh, Madama Butterfly. There is a piece there by Puccini, uh, placed there, that requires this trill. Uh, and I have done some research online of how to do this trill. Uh, many of the fingerings were, I'm sorry to say, really bad, <laughs> really out of tune. Uh, so I wanted to come up with some other ideas. Uh, so I have been experimenting quite a lot and uh, found some options. Some of them are better than others. And some of them maybe doesn't work for me on my bassoon, but maybe it's really good for other people on their instruments. That's why I wanted to share maybe more than what is useful for me. Uh, so please check it out. Here are some options. This one looks like that. Uh, quite okay in tune. Uh, however, maybe not the easiest trill to do because you need to trill with two hands, but works. That's one option. Second one is... The second option looks like this. Uh, good thing with this one, quite good in tune. The bad thing with this is um, it cracks quite easily. So it will require some more practice, but not the worst one. Coming up next, I think is my favorite one. I will need to practice them all a little bit more before I conclude that, but um, it looks like this. Sound-wise, it needs to be bent a little bit down for intonation purposes, at least in the A. But the good thing with this is that you only have two fingers that need to trill and they're both in the same hand. And considering they're on the right hand, then for me also it's quite easy to do a shake trill on this trill. So easy for fast passages. The fourth option looks like this. Does not sound very good in my opinion, but it is the right notes. And also you need to trill with two hands. So. Not my favorite one, but maybe for some people it's good. The fifth option looks like that. Uh, in one way, maybe not the worst, but the challenge here is that you actually need to trill with the right hand in front, the right hand in the back and with the left hand here. So you have three things you need to synchronize. Uh, so for that, Quite difficult, um, but sound wise and intonation wise, for sure not the worst one. But maybe on some bassoons, this also sounds even better than on this one. So, worth to try out. I think this one ends up being my favorite after all. I was speaking about number three, uh, that maybe that one was my favorite. This one is basically the same one, but I changed one thing, and that is that I used the F sharp in front instead of the F. That makes it also slightly sharper, the B flat in the trill. So it's a little bit wider interval in the trill. So I think this will be the one I'm going to use um, for a concert coming up in a few days. Uh, I hope some of these fingerings were maybe helpful or useful for you as well. Try them out. Let me know which one works the best for you. And yeah, see you soon. Now I need to practice this one.